2020 August 1st Daily Bread Passage 1 Chronicles chapter 26 verse 1 to 32 Key verse verse 12 Title God raised capable levites to serve Bible passage The divisions of the gatekeepers from the Korahites Meshelamiah son of Kor one of the sons of Asaph Meshelamiah had sons, Zechariah the firstborn, Jediel the second, Zabadiah the third, Jethniel the fourth, Elam the fifth, Jehohanan the sixth and Elihonai the seventh. Obed-Edom also had sons, Shemaiah the firstborn, Jehoshabad the second, Joah the third, Sikar the fourth, Nethanel the fifth, Amiel the sixth, Issachar the seventh and Pulathai the eighth. For God had blessed Obed-Edom. Obed-Edom's son Shemaiah also had sons, who were leaders in their father's family because they were very capable men. The sons of Shemaiah, Othni, Raphael, Obed and Elzabad, his relatives Elihu and Semechiah were also able men. All these were descendants of Obed-Edom, they and their sons and their relatives were capable men with the strength to do the work, descendants of Obed-Edom, sixty-two in all. Meshelamiah had sons and relatives, who were able men eighteen in all. Hosa the Merarite had sons, Shimri the first, although he was not the firstborn, his father had appointed him the first. Hilkiah the second, Tabaliah the third and Zechariah the fourth. The sons and relatives of Hosa were thirteen in all. These divisions of the gatekeepers, through their leaders, had duties for ministering in the temple of the Lord, just as their relatives had. Lots were cast for each gate, according to their families, young and old alike. The lot for the east gate fell to Shelemiah. Then lots were cast for his son Zechariah, a wise counselor, and the lot for the north gate fell to him. The lot for the south gate fell to Obed-Edom, and the lot for the storehouse fell to his sons. The lots for the west gate and the Shalakath gate on the upper road fell to Shuppam and Hosa. Guard was alongside of guard. There were six levites a day on the east, four a day on the north, four a day on the south and two at a time at the storehouse. As for the court to the west, there were four at the road and two at the court itself. These were the divisions of the gatekeepers who were descendants of Korah and Merari. Their fellow Levites were in charge of the treasuries of the house of God and the treasuries for the dedicated things. The descendants of Laden, who were Gershonites through Laden and who were heads of families belonging to Laden the Gershonite, were Jeyeli. The sons of Jeyeli, Zetham and his brother Joel. They were in charge of the treasuries of the temple of the Lord. From the Amramites, the Izarites, the Hebronites and the Uzzelites. Shubel, a descendant of Gershom son of Moses, was the official in charge of the treasuries. His relatives through Eliezer, Rehabiah his son, Jesheah his son, Joram his son, Zikri his son and Shelemith his son. Shelemith and his relatives were in charge of all the treasuries for the things dedicated by King David, by the heads of families who were the commanders of thousands and commanders of hundreds, and by the other army commanders. Some of the plunder taken in battle they dedicated for the repair of the temple of the Lord and everything dedicated by Samuel the seer and by Saul son of Kish, Abner son of Ner and Joab son of Zeruiah, and all the other dedicated things were in the care of Shelemith and his relatives. From the Israelites, Kenaniah and his sons were assigned duties away from the temple, as officials and judges over Israel. From the Hebronites, Hashabiah and his relatives, 1700 able men, were responsible in Israel west of the Jordan for all the work of the Lord and for the king's service. As for the Hebronites, Jeriah was their chief according to the genealogical records of their families. In the fortieth year of David's reign a search was made in the records, and capable men among the Hebronites were found at Jazer in Gilead. Jeriah had 2,700 relatives, who were able men and heads of families, and King David put them in charge of the Reubenites, the Gadites and the half-tribe of Manasseh for every matter pertaining to God and for the affairs of the king. Daily Bread Message 1 capable gatekeepers, Levites had many different responsibilities related to ministering at the temple. Some were gatekeepers for the temple, Meshelamiah, Obed-Edom, and their sons were all capable men who were appointed to serve as gatekeepers. Hosa and his sons were also called to be gatekeepers. Lots were cast to determine who was responsible for a specific gate, young and old alike served side by side every day. 2. Able treasurers, officials, and judges, still other Levites served as treasurers, officials, and judges, Laden and his descendants were responsible for the temple treasuries. Shubel, Shelemith, and their relatives took charge of the treasuries for the things dedicated by King David, Samuel, Saul, Abner, Joab, and others, still, other Levites ministered to the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh who all lived west of the Jordan. 
God had set aside the Levites for his work. When God calls his people for specific work, he also enables them to carry it out. Prayer. Father, thank you for giving me good work to do for you and the ability to do it. Help me to humbly and diligently carry out your work. One word. God enables us to do his work.